Ah, yes, yes, yes. It feels so nice to get back out here and make a video on motorcycles. I've been locked up inside. You all know about my recent wreck. I was all casted up and stuff. I'm out of the cast right now. I'm in a boot. I gotta have this on for two more weeks. And then I gotta be in like a little brace for two weeks. Um, quick, quick rundown. Uh, my ankle's not healing up. It's uh, what do they call it, scar tissue, uh, non-binding and non-whatever. Anyways, my ankle's not connecting. It's like scar tissue holding together. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, I'm ready to get on a bike. But anyways, besides that, just want to give you guys a quick update. Gosh, it just feels so nice getting out here and talking about motorcycles again, right? The, this is the most riding I've done since my accident. I rode it from that bay over there where I keep my motorcycles. Backed it up and rode it into here. That is the most I've ridden motorcycles in. It felt good. It did. But what I want to talk about in this video is why the heck did I buy a Suzuki DR650? This is a 2023. And yeah, I bought this when I was all casted up and everything. So your first thing you might be thinking is, well, this guy is doped up on medicine, right? His pain stuff and all this, whatever. He's just bored, losing his mind, sitting inside. So he went off and bought a bike. Well, you know, and I can see your point is me coming from very big, extravagant, feature-packed ADV bikes, Africa Twin Adventure Sport, the Triumph Tiger 900, the KTM 890. Those are just like feature-packed, really awesome adventure slash touring motorcycles, right? And yeah, I was looking at that. If I saw an Africa Twin. I was very close to, you know, closing my mind on the Africa Twin, but they're coming out with a newer one. So I was like, yeah, let me hold out. But why I got the DR650, let's go ahead and talk about this. And I'm, I'm going to take a seat right here um, just so I don't constantly walk around. I'm fine being on it. You know, the crazy thing is my knee hurts more than my ankle. Hopefully, hopefully that's not an issue here, right? The DR650, why I scooped it up. And this is not my first DR650. You've been around my channel for a while. Um, I'll put the link down below. I had a 2021 DR650 and I did all sorts of mods. As you can see, I've done here. I, you know, I can't ride it, so all I'm doing is modding my motorcycles, right? So uh, I'm not going to talk about my mods here because, again, I haven't ridden them. So some of these mods may be absolutely trash. I want to actually utilize them and use them before I can recommend them and talk about them. So I was debating, you know, looking at some dealers. I was like, you know what? I think a Honda Rebel 1100 DCT would be pretty nice. I can ride it a little bit quicker. I don't got to worry about shifting with my ankle. It's nice and low. It'd be fun just to, you all know I love going to random small towns. I love that just as much as riding off-road, you know what I mean? So I was like, that, that'd be a fun little fit. So I was looking at, you know, Honda dealers, you know, Facebook Marketplace, stuff like that. Anyways, I was looking at this one Honda dealer that I bought my Africa Twin from. Uh, uh, my 300L from before, or my 300LS, and they had this sitting in a used. I'm like, well, that's weird. They usually don't have many used bikes. It's a powerhouse Honda dealer, right? And they had this thing marked so low. It's a 2023 with 160 miles, and this Corbin seat was on it, okay? And it's flawless. I mean, again, I've done the majority of the mods, but the Corbin seat was on it. The price of this thing was half the price of a MSRP 2023. It was half the price, out the door. You gotta be a fool to pass it up, right? If I don't like it, heck, I can sell it. And, and that was honestly in my mind, I'm like, oh, this is keep me pretty busy. Let me get that, you know, just kind of have a little fun with it while I'm locked up here. And then maybe I'll just sell it. But as I continued working on the DR650, I was like, I kept thinking, I started watching videos of people actually touring on them. I was like, this is, kind of perfect for me, you know what I mean? As y'all know, I ride uh, the Honda 300 LS, which is really fits me well. They can get me to where I want to go. I can do my random exploration rides where I turn down. It's such a light, small, low bike. It really does that kind of style for me. And the DR650 can pretty much do that as well. Yeah, it's a lot heavier than the 300 L, you know what I mean? But I can still do that. I can go where I want to go to small towns and stuff and really not have too many worries in the back of my mind of if I want to turn down that other road. Whether if, you know, I'm on the Africa Twin or the Triumph, right? I always had that in the back of my mind. I'm like, God, geez, I just, I can't do that. You know what I mean? Or, ah, man, I wish I was on a smaller bike. Now, yes, this is still a heavy bike, you know? But 
what it's packing and what it's doing that can get me on the highway and get me there and get me off road and be very capable. It honestly does it all. And, and you know, the, the money was the money a factor. Yeah, the price was amazing. When I'm looking at the value to what I'll get out of it, I'll get every dollar's worth out of it. You know what I mean? Rather than me going off and buying another $18,000 bike, which, yeah, I utilize that and I love that stuff. I'm not hating on big ADV bikes. I love them. But a lot of times, like, say, for example, the Triumph, right? I'm like, this tire pressure monitor system I really never used. It honestly was more annoying because, again, that light would flash, you know, the, the service light. I'm like, man, there's so many different things on here that are eating away at me. Like, gosh, that's annoying or... Why am I not utilizing that enough? Or am I getting the total value out of this bike? That, that's just me. That's my style in general. Even when I buy a car, I'm like, do I need this $57,000 Rubicon Jeep? Nah, I can probably get by with the, you know, $50,000 Willys. You know, that's just my style. And talking about the DR650, I truly think I can utilize this bike to its fullest potential. I had, again, I've had one before when I first uh, started riding uh, not too long ago. And it was the thing that turned me off before. And still, to this day, something that's just weird about it. It's so classic. I know that's something a lot of people love about it, right? But when you get up here, you got your speedometer. That's it. There's no gas gauge, no tachometer. It's carbureted. You, you choke it up here, whatever, and stuff like that. It's, it's very classic, styled to the roots motorcycle or dual sports, you know? And y'all remember uh, the XR150L, you remember, it wasn't too long ago. That bike, I had so much fun riding. Why? Well, because it was so simple. It kinda, it's weird, it's hard to describe, right? Cause I'm so used to, and I love tech. I, I love the tech on bikes. But the simplicity of it, just down to resetting that, keeping track of my mileage, being more in tune with a motorcycle, it's like, this is pretty fun. You know what I mean? It almost gave you that vibes of being lost in the woods on your motorcycle, right? It gave you that type of vibe, as crazy as it sounds. And I don't know, maybe some of you just can relate with me. I don't know. But uh, uh, that's what I really liked about it. And I think I'm going to get that vibe. Again, I haven't ridden it. I, I just rid it from there to there. And if I don't, I mean... I put a substantial amount of money into mods, but still, with my mods, I can turn a profit on this bike. But I think, again, with myself owning many big bikes, and I think when the new Africa Twins come out, I'll seriously consider one. But right now, the DR650 is truly doing that other area I want. So I got my 300 LS, random exploration rides, my DR650, which can get me a lot further, and maybe take on some bigger roads. That's what the DR650 is gonna do and still allow me to get off road. Yeah, I wish it had cruise control. I wish it had a gas gauge. That would be my number one thing about this bike is I wish it had a gas gauge. But again, bringing you to the core experience of it, resetting that and getting to it, I think it's gonna be a real blast. And again, you can see I got it built out, the fog lights, I changed the tires. Um, I had a good buddy help me uh, change those out there. Got my racks and my Pelican case in the back, the Corbin seat. I got my bark busters coming. It's built out to hit the road. And I think it's really going to be a great ride, right? I really do. Again, this is not my first experience on a DR650. Like I stated, I had one before. It's an absolute blast. It's the simplicity and the classic style that turned me away before. But I think now I want to be more in tuned like that. Let me know what you think about this bike down in the comments. Again, this is kind of simple. I'll just kind of talking point. I wanted to share this with you. I've had it sitting here for a while. Again, just modding the heck out of it. I think it's going to be a really fun ride. I think we're going to have a lot of fun adventures on us, kind of going a little bit further than we will on the 300 LS. I've done many mods on the 300 LS as well. Trust me, I've been sitting here, out here sweating, just doing mods with my old soggy leg, you know. So uh, I think we got about maybe two, three weeks before I can slip into some boots and maybe take out for a little ride. Because I usually like doing these kind of conversations while I'm riding. But again... Thank you guys so much for coming by for this. Do I even call this an adventure? An adventure in my garage, right? But anyways, I wanted to share with you guys why I scooped up a DR650. Let me know what you think about this bike. Would the simplicity and the classic style of it turn you away? Or would that turn you into it? And kind of, again, just connecting with that ride in your environment. And again, just the bike in general. So 
Anyways, spark the conversation down below. Uh, let me know what you think about this. Thank you so much for coming by for this conversation. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit that thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And I hope I catch you in the next adventure. I hope it's an adventure that's out on the road and not in my garage.